In the early hours of a cold October morning, a quiet alert rippled through observatories all over the world. Automated systems that monitor the outer reaches of space had discovered something unexpected, something that, by all reasonable models, should not have been there. A thing thought to be lost, listed in records as a three-volume atlas, an early identification of an interstellar visitor had reappeared after several years. Yet the coordinates were all wrong. It was far from its predicted orbit. The discovery has since triggered one of the most comprehensive investigations in the history of modern astronomy. For a long time, astrophysicists have performed with remarkable self-assurance regarding the universe's governing rules. The motions of celestial bodies, from the slow drift of comets to the high-energy trajectories of interstellar debris, can be forecast with near-perfect precision. The mathematics of gravity, motion, and light are as reliable as the rising of the sun, but the sudden re-emergence of 3i Atlas has forced scientists to reevaluate the fundamentals of those presumptions. If the object's latest observations are accurate, then something is occurring in the void that current physics cannot explain. Background, the first arrival. The story of 3i Atlas began much like that of its predecessors, Amuamua and Tuai Borisov, interstellar objects that entered the solar system from beyond. When 3i Atlas was first detected, it was hailed as yet another rare chance to study material from outside our stellar neighborhood. Initial spectral readings suggested a mixed composition of rock and volatile ices, possibly a relic from the birth of another star system. Its velocity relative to the Sun, about 130,000 miles per hour, was consistent with that of other interstellar wanderers. Global observatories cooperated to gather every scrap of data. Its orbit was simulated by supercomputers, thousands of years into the future and hundreds of years into the past, producing a smooth, hyperbolic trajectory that would carry it beyond the outer planets and back into deep space. Everything seemed correct. The models held. The mechanics were sound. Then, one evening, the object disappeared. There was no thermal or visual signature, no trace, and no reflected radio pulse. Every telescope pointed to its last known location, yet nothing more was reported than void darkness. Astronomers reprocessed their data, checked instruments, verified calibration routines. Everything worked perfectly. Still, 3i Atlas was gone. At first, the scientific community reacted cautiously. Fluctuations, reflectivity changes, and gaps in observation occur frequently. However, after several nights of systematic searching, the absence became impossible to dismiss. The object had not merely dimmed below visibility. It had left no trace at all. The inconceivable reappearance. Several weeks later, new data arrived. The Pan-STARRS array in Hawaii recorded a distinct but faint object in the sky, millions of miles from the most recent known route of 3i Atlas. Within moments, observatories in Chile, Spain, and South Africa confirmed the same coordinates. The match was unmistakable. Spectral lines were identical to those recorded months earlier. It was back. What surprised researchers was not just that the object had reappeared, but that it had done so in a physical location inconsistent with any known mechanism. There was no sign of gravitational slingshotting, no evidence of deceleration or acceleration, and no release of energy that could account for the transfer of momentum. The transition from one point to another seemed instantaneous compared to the speed of any known natural body. High-quality tracking showed neither a gradual curve nor a bending of trajectory under gravitational influence. It remained nearly motionless relative to the sun for 48 hours before resuming motion, an observation that defied normal orbital mechanics. One investigator described it as a missing frame in the cosmic film reel. The initial theories, the first task was to test for instrumental or computational error. Redundant observatories, using independent timing networks and cross-aligned star fields, confirmed the readings. The data was genuine. Several hypotheses were proposed. Gravitational perturbation, perhaps a previously unknown massive body, a black hole or dwarf planet, had redirected the object. 
Yet such a force would have left observable traces in the motion of nearby asteroids and comets. None were found. Material destruction. If Atlas had disintegrated, perhaps a fragment had been mistaken for the original. But its albedo, rotation rate, and spectrum were to precisely aligned with the first readings to support that explanation. Quantum or relativistic effects could extreme conditions have shifted its apparent position, not at the recorded speeds. The required power would be astronomical. Data illusion, a synchronized sensor glitch across half a dozen international observatories was statistically impossible. With each possibility eliminated, the anomaly deepened. The telemetry, radio arrays began a coordinated observation campaign. The Deep Space Network and the Prototype Square Kilometer Array in South Africa detected subtle radio emissions consistent with solar radiation interacting with a metallic or icy surface. Yet no Doppler shift consistent with motion at high speed was observed at the moment of reappearance. For nearly to Earth days, the object appeared almost stationary against the background stars. Then, without visible gravitational pull or thrust, it began moving again, accelerating sunward. The rate of acceleration was only a few meters per second squared, but constant. What was unusual was its direction. 